Bill Barnwell of ESPN.com has an idea what, what's going to happen here. He says that the, the Raiders, and by the way, the Raiders may wind up in San Diego this year because they've got trouble with the stadium in Las Vegas. The Raiders would receive the, would receive the Browns' 10th pick. The Browns would receive the 12th and the 81st, that in the third round, and they would take and, and offensive guard uh, Gabe Jackson. Jackson is 28 years old, six NFL seasons, all with the Raiders, four penalties and five sacks allowed in uh, 700 snaps, 707 snaps last season. He's been listed in uh, trade rumors for the past month or so. And uh, the money is, they'd just be under $28 million left on his contract. Uh, it's a name we haven't heard before, but uh, uh, people seem to be interested in this guy. Well, and not knowing, I, I haven't watched much of uh, Raiders football. Is this a guy that they think could play tackle, but is that guard now? Yeah, I think so. I think so. I, and, you know, no. I think they're in trouble if they start thinking you can interchange all these guards and tackles or right side and left side. I. I Hey, listen, we saw it with um, um, Cam Irving, you know, yep. Yep. Um, a guy that got moved around by, you know, three different positions within a, two years of being in the league. And, you know, we were even questioning that as it was going on. And we were told, oh, versatility, versatility is so important. Well, okay. sometimes young guys just need to come in and stay at a position. I mean, this is a, this is a tough league to learn on the fly. And, um, we've seen it, how tough it can be for a quarterback. I'm not suggesting it's the same for an offensive lineman, but it certainly isn't easy. You know, you look at the year that he had. I mean, he was terrible. Let's, let's face it, he was terrible when he was here. But he must have been pretty mm -hmm. good last year. I mean, they, they win the whole thing. He must have either figured it out or, or uh, Kansas City hit him somehow, some way. Yeah, I hope what they what doesn't happen here is that they say, "Hey, we have Bill Callahan. He's one of the top yeah. offensive line coaches in the league. You know, he can help these guys. You know, move around and be versatile and play different positions. You know, sometimes you know, let's face it, the coaching is is important, but it's not as important as the talent. No, and you also have a situation where they're not you're throwing guys in there, four or five guys together that have, you know, they're just meeting some somehow, some way." All of a sudden, you expect them to mesh as a unit, and we've we've seen not just with the Browns, but throughout all of football, that doesn't happen all the time. Yeah, right. exactly right.